what would these guerrillas do once they were in these states? Well, one of the things that they could do, they could see that the federal government had to intervene. Uh, since Jim For Foreman and others there have not been able to get government intervention with peaceful uh, methods, we feel that we can send in enough brothers into that area to carry on a campaign of terror against the Ku Klux Klan to the point where the government would have to intervene itself and occupy the state of Mississippi. How can you advocate violence in an area where three men have disappeared who were doing nothing but uh, trying to show our people how to register to vote? This is the, the violence is already there. We are going there to put down the violence since the government isn't able to stop the violence that's being committed against Negroes. We feel that it is necessary to put a halt to this violence ourselves. And Lyndon B. Johnson just stated this week that this government would go to war to protect the peace that this government wants. And we feel that our people have reached a point wherein we can see that we're going to have to go to war against the racists in this country and make war against them ourselves in order to preserve our own peace and in order to preserve our own lives and our own property. And this is not advocating any kind of violence. This is being prepared to retaliate against those who are violent with us. And we think that this is the only language that the Ku Klux Klan and the White Citizens Council and the George Lincoln Rockwells and these other racists and extremists understand. It's not uh, advocating violence. Uh, our people there are already the victims of violence and have been the victims of brutal violence on the part of the Klan. We're advocating self-defense units and self-defense units alone. Uh, who would the victims of this guerrilla army be? Only the racists, only the people who are, are, are inflicting criminal assault uh, upon the lives and the property of our people in that area.